Hello everybody and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. This is another one of my little car fix videos. I've got an issue with, or had an issue with, my airbag light uh, coming on. It's an MOT failure in the UK, which means that you won't be able to drive your car if it doesn't pass its MOT. There's a number of tools involved in this, including some security uh, Torx bits, um, some decent sockets, and the other thing that you really need uh, is a computer, a car computer, that's compatible with your car so that you can reset the angle sensor on your vehicle um, so uh, what I'm doing here I'm just very quickly showing you how I, uh, I took apart the steering wheel and all the rest of it uh, in order to gain access to uh, the what's called the clock spring mechanism this is the original got the encoder on the back of it this one is the new one doesn't have the encoder on the back of it um, it did have a little clip this guy here clipped onto here on this little plastic lug and the idea of that was to make sure that it wasn't rotated too far in one direction so right now it's lost its center of rotation so we'll have to fix that when we get in the car this encoder this bosch encoder here needs to be taken off of here and fitted on there so uh, let's go ahead and make that happen big fat hairy screwdriver one bosch encoder as far as I'm aware, this Bosch encoder just rotates infinitely. So um, what this does is it, uh, it, gives the, uh, it gives the computer an idea of uh, where the steering wheel is. So anyway, there we go. That's the Bosch encoder. So what we need to do now is fit said Bosch encoder on the new cheap Chinese device. So, doo -doo -doo. make sure these little lugs line up. Can you see that lug there? There we go. There's one at the top, big fat one, and there's one at the bottom, a little slim one. Make sure those two lugs line up. Everything sits in place nicely. It should all just sort of stay in, almost clips in place. Okay, so these are the screws for the uh, to attach this to the steering wheel. So we need to pop those in there and there. There we go. And then this would normally sit at the bottom. Now remember, it's very important how many rotations around this is, but we'll go ahead and fix that once it's back on the car. There's a few connectors here. There's an encoder connector for this little slip ring here, which has got all the encoders in it, I showed you. And then there's a couple of um, signal connectors that are here and here. So, or control signal connectors. So that bad boy just uh, slides back on the steering column. And there's a couple of screws that you do up here and here, and a little retaining clip at the top and an orientation clip at the top there. Uh, obviously, make sure that this is set to the central position. Remember, it's about two and a half counts uh, around to achieve the central position. You need to make sure that's in its central position so that it tallies up with both the cables that are inside of here. I thought it was slip rings, it's not. It's cables that are wound around or, or, or ribbon cables that are wound around. Plastic clip goes in there and these two are lying down here. That's the plastic clip in. Again, make sure the wheels are straight. Make sure the wheels are straight on the car. Righto, then you get your uh, indicators and all of your stalks back in place. There's little uh, squeezy tabs on these bad boys, but effectively they just uh, slide in. Something like that. There we go. That's all good. So we need to do that with the other one. Uh, 
original parts, a lot of money. Uh, thankfully, eBay uh, had uh, some cheap Chinese equivalents. So go ahead and watch this and hopefully uh, you'll figure out what I'm doing. Um, it should be relatively comprehensive. I tried to get into the detail and uh, I think you'll find that it, uh, uh, that it should give you enough information for you to be able to do this on your vehicle. Again, most important thing um, is making sure that the wheels are straight when you do this, that you put the uh, clock spring back in a zero central position. Um, uh, they do normally come with a plastic clip on them so that you can't mess it up. Up. the one that I got that class that plastic clip was broken so I had to reset it by finding the center of it I'll show you how to do that during the course of the video and then at the very end of the video uh, you have to go ahead and you have to uh, reset your steering angle sensor to zero otherwise you get traction control lights on and various other lights on so it's been a bit of fun doing all of this but my goodness I'm happy I got it fixed all right go ahead and watch this and hopefully it'll be interesting and with a little bit of luck it might even be useful some of you for, for some of you guys thanks very much subscribe okay something to note about the air airbag connector it goes on this way around with the cable facing towards the a big red danger sign there the yellow connector gets pushed in place and then this black one locks it there we go um, there's a little tiny uh, nubby there that you can get underneath to, to pop that up and then obviously we need to fit these two cables sorry this is all one-handed madness with the camera here and finally the evil nastiness that you will need is that one of those little Torx security driver that basically goes in here little screw bolty things that go in here okay so let's turn it on and start the engine and what we'll see is that we get this flashing airbag light so what you've got to do is you've got to turn the ignition on and wait until the airbag light starts flashing not turn the engine on just turn the ignition on so we'll turn the ignition on and then what we've got to do is turn it off after four seconds there we go turn it on and wait until the airbag light starts flashing again. Pairing. Turn it off. And wait four seconds. Turn it on. Yeah, it's Pairing. a long, slow and laborious process. Turn it off. <laughs> wait four seconds. And now, hopefully, it should start flashing slowly. And when you've got that sequence correct, you'll notice that it flashes slowly. And then what you've got to do is start the engine and wait until the airbag light turns off. And then, happy days, you don't have an airbag light on anymore. Now, hold on, sorry about the music. Now, um, you may find that your ESP light comes on when you turn mm, the wheel. Ooh. That's, uh... So after all that, after all that work, effectively we've got a bunch of lights that are coming on. Um, yeah, dashboard looks like a Christmas tree. Uh, it's primarily because the encoder that's behind the steering wheel hasn't been reset, so it doesn't know where zero is. So uh, it checks out the electronic stability lights and it checks out ABS lights and that kind of stuff. Now, great news, my mate Billy here, hello, uh, has got a computer, and we're going to plug that in and with a little bit of luck. Um, that's going to reset all of those lights for us and reset the zero position of the steering wheel and the steering sensor um, At which point hopefully that'll fix it all. So let's see how we do All right, so we found I believe we found the uh, what we need which is a steering angle sensor adjustment So press ok after keep that steering wheel in the neutral position when driving straight ahead 
Oh, bugger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we might need to go find a, uh, a bit of land where we can do this. Uh, uh, we may be able to do it stationary. Okay, well, give it, we'll give it a it. try anyway. Establishing function is not supported. Uh -oh. ECU answer. Oh man, what? Okay, so apparently if all operations are normal but the function is still unsuccessfully performed, please send the following information to us. That. So let's uh, go on, hit the button, let's see what happens. Yeah, steering angle, sensor adjustment, press OK. So wheel straight ahead. Yeah. Function is not supported. ECU answered. 11. All right, looks like we'll be getting in touch with Foxwell. Yes. <laughs> Buggers. Okay.